him. Fuck him. So here we are, guys. We on? Food Fight Live with Tank Abbott presents. Tank Abbott loves you. Tank Abbott loves you. We're gonna fire up this GoPro. So what we got here, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know, it's Franklin Barbecue. World famous. World famous Franklin Barbecue. Supposedly the gold standard, they say. So, we're gonna find the fuck out, aren't we? Got a whole brisket. Trust me, they ain't giving these away. What was it like? Fourteen hundred bucks, Mikey B. Cash. Yeah. Yeah. Cash price. The cash price. Now, why is this not working? Is it not charged? I could have sworn this damn thing charged all fucking night. Put this hoe back in here. So. Salt and pepper only. We got some Franklin sauce. Is it good? He uses like a, a, a thinner vinegar based sauce. It's amazing. Give me a piece of bread. Let's get the party started. Come on. Let's, get, let's get a dip. Come on. Uh, oh my god. Just shoot me in this. That's good. In this black bird over here. That's perfect. He's brave, be, dude. He's brave. He'll be racist. Shiny. He's kind of purple. African American bird. <laughs> Good. Let's take or yeah, first class ticket to Flavor Town. Yeah. I guess. Oh my. Oh. Oh my God. We wish I could smell this. Oh my God. Lick your fingers. So right this here, is right? this is the moist part of the brisket, right? This is the cap. This is like the the tip. The, the tip, like the burn ends. That's the flat. That's the tip. Yeah. So this is the moist part. I'm saying this is the, this is more your on brisket. This is your moist. This is your lean. That's your gold. Mmm. Say cut against the grain. Try another one. So I just cut yay way. Go to it. Dude, I call dibs on that corner piece. Uh, Sorry. I, it's all you, man. Um, you could cut that with a piece of wood. You could cut this with your finger. Dennis, get your plate over here. Let's see. Oh, mm. my God. I'm not even going to eat it till you do, man. I'm, I'm gonna take this first piece right here. Go ahead. I'm, I'm gonna dip in that juice, doing the ajou. You tell me. You tell me. How is it? Oh. Oh, it's legit as fuck. God. We got this about half an hour ago. So it's not, you know, optimally fresh, but. Kind of get in on that brisket there. That bark is perfect. That bark is absolutely insane. And in true Texas style, mm. it needs absolutely 
No sauce, would you agree, Dennis? I would agree with that. I'm not saying that I, I don't I'd like, hate it if you didn't, but I'm saying it doesn't need it. I'm not I, saying you can't have it. I don't like brisket in general. Look at that. Look at that smoke line, the smoke ring. That is amazing. All he uses is salt and pepper. So, let me pull that in on there. It's a wide angle lens, so that's uh, that's real deal. Mmm. Let's mm. get that in there, that beautiful bean footage. Hope you guys can see that. Turn it around here. I mean, my, oh man. Let me get it in on the camera. See that smoke line pretty well. We're in a shaded park here in Austin, Texas. True Austin style. Beautiful weather. Everybody, you should have seen the looks. Oh my God. Good, good, good. When we walked through the whole bridge, yeah. If we, if we see people walking, we should offer them some brisket. You want to say some? She's a uh, jerk. See, I think I think it's better without the sauce. And the flavor, you lose the you lose the uh, you lose the depth. Big time. So the complexity of like almost like a like a like a pepper beef jerky. You know the out the, the flavor of the bark. It's like a peppered beef jerky, but not, you know, jerky. That's definitely the most tender brisket I've ever had. Yeah. They're usually dry. Yeah, according to Tank Abbott, yeah, hopefully you guys can, can get that. Really greasy. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a little greasy, but my God, that's good. This is the moist part. The tender, the, um, the lean part will be a little different. It is Tank Abbott approved. Tank Abbott, if you're out there, wish you were here, buddy. Texas, baby. Now, is this worth the hype? I don't know, but worth the hype. Is this solid barbecue? If you're from out of town and you had this, would this blow your dick off? Absolutely. Yep. If you ain't from around here, and you come fuck around with this, it's kind of like, uh, you know, you can get on a roller coaster anywhere, but this is like kind of getting on the tallest roller coaster in the world, I would say. You know, they're all fun, but my God, oh my God, please cut that long. This long? Yeah. Look at that. Look at the gel. Um, if, if you can get it, if you can see, look at the, look and make sure you get the shot. Look at the gelatin aspect of the bark. It's a wide angle, so you might have to go tight in on that. Yeah, it's good. I'm trying to get that and that covered him. What is that, a 12 inch bread knife that you're cutting this brisket with? Mm, close. 11, 11, 12 inches. 11, 12, yeah. Glides right through it. The thing wouldn't even cut your finger and it's cutting that brisket. Yeah. Look at that smoke ring. My God. Mm. The bark, the bar listen to that. Can we get on so you can hear this? No, it's on my mic. Woo! Big dog. Big slice. What is that, a 40 pound of brisket? This is an old 96er. This is, um, yeah, probably seven, seven or eight pounds, you know, probably seven pounds. Cooked meat. Wow. Got the sauce. Sauce is a little spicy. I wouldn't say it's really Black burning. pepper. Yeah, it's got it's a bunch pepper. of black pepper. Not, I'd say a little sweet maybe. What do you think? Soft it's definitely sauce. a little sweet. It's got like a uh, chili powder type molasses, stuff. brown sugar type feel. Give me, give me your opinion again, just in case it didn't come out. Those, uh, I've had corkscrew barbecue, uh, corkscrew brisket anyway, and it was really good. Uh, Again, I'm not a brisket, really in general a brisket fan, but uh, I, I usually prefer the leaner meats, turkey, you know, smoked chicken, stuff like that. It's usually my favorite, but uh, 
Dude, I gotta tell you, looks like brown gravy. in my life, and I lived in Georgia for 13 years, I don't ever remember eating brisket that, that was this good. Best one I've ever had, hands down. Now I know what all the hype's about. I mean, this is just bark, so enjoy. Little little piece of that burn in. It's way more fatty. That's the burn in part. It's like that that bite I gave you. It's like all that. I mean, literally, pork tender. Hands down, best brisket I've ever had in my life. If you don't like black pepper, this is not for you. Nope. But it's so simple. It's, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. Sometimes, you know, it's just that easy, man. You, uh, it's all pepper and patience. Damn, you get that bark, you taste like a smoke is like lingering. It's like a guy that doesn't drink and then he finds a beer that he likes, you know what I mean? It's like that. That's what's happening to me right now. And you're like, it's a damn good beer. I'm going to come back here. I don't know if this is better than corkscrew, in my opinion. I would say it definitely is. Just my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's, 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 no, there's no wrong answer on that one. Just me. Just to be honest with you, this tasted real close. I mean, almost identical to that barbecue you got five. That's what I'm trying to hook you up with. When you were at HEB, and I was at HEB. Oh, yeah, I missed out on that It one. tasted a lot like that, black pepper heavy. So I know where to get this level stuff locally wow and ain't giving that shit away either that's just 19 bucks a pound the magnolia well you know what i just bought some uh 17 a pound roast beef from heb sliced at the deli honestly if you if you got a pound and a half you'd be stuffed you probably yeah. said you probably had a pound I, I mean i'm good that's what I'm saying. If I was in a competition, I'm not kidding. Yeah. Being real hungry, skipping breakfast, I could eat that whole brisket, but I would be hurting afterwards. You can see the, the striation. You can see where it's like breaking apart the meat, you know? Yeah. I feel like we need to get some ways in this room. You need to get a shot of this side over here, man. So here's what I'm going to do. Just, just. I'll give you a, give me a little tour. A little tap, tap, tap. So that's what we got left here. That part. Oh, I got that. Cool. Watch, watch, watch. Hold the camera still. You see that? Yeah, it's a wide angle. Watch this. Ooh. Do you see that jiggle? Wiggle, wiggle, what? Wiggle, wiggle, what? You see this? For all my, uh, for all my Missouri people that burn in, listen to that, listen, listen to this burn in. It's an hour old and it still sounds like burnt toast. <laughs> so, I'm going to take this wide angle lens off. Ooh, double butcher wrap. Double butcher wrap. Now you can get the details, now they got that wide angle lens off. Thank you, I have it approved. Oh yeah, belly's out. Sun's out, belly's out. Stretch the old hog dog, man. We got nine seconds, Dennis. This is our sign off. Tank Evan loves you. Food Fight Live. Check Cork's, out Dude All Garage. Yeah. Franklin Bar.
This one here is like, everybody wants to know. This goes with the music.